I cannot tell you how excited I am about driving this all-new 2021 Toyota Sienna hybrid yes for 2021 all of them are hybrid and I think that is a brilliant move on behalf of Toyota now come with me and let's explore this all-new ground-up TNGA based fantastic family vehicle that will fit your life and mine all right so let's do the quick walk around of the 2021 toyota sienna um obviously physically the van is completely completely new from the ground up uh, this particular model is the xse which is the top line sporty version as you can see just by the front grille uh, arguably though the uh, x grille if you will is far more attractive than the l grille that you get on the limited for example and because this is an xse you get the 20 inch wheels a Toyota says that the design was inspired by the bullet train as well as the new Toyota Supra. If you take a quick look at the taillights, you'll see exactly what they're going on about. And I agree. I mean, as far as minivans go, this thing is really freaking attractive. Look at how flared the rear wheel wells or the real rear fenders are. It's pretty crazy. What you do need to know about the 21 Sienna is that it's actually longer, 80 millimeters longer than the previous generation. The wheelbase is 30 millimeters longer, but the van is actually 20 millimeters lower. Uh, the wheelbase has grown by 30 millimeters. I think I mentioned that. I'm not even sure anymore. So many dimensions. But what's also important to know is that the load floor is actually 30 millimeters lower than it was previously, which is actually very cool. Uh, let's, uh, there are all kind of foot activated opening thingies on this van. But uh, I'm always concerned it won't work when I'm doing the video. So good old remote, always a safe bet. Now, if the third row is up, you get 949 liters of trunk space, which is more than it, what you had before. And as you can see, it's still very deep. When you lower the third row, you get over 2,100 liters of space, which is completely insane. But hey, that's the minivan life. And that's the one I want. Beautiful storage. Um, look, uh, in the rear with the captain's seats, you get this super long sliding, I don't know if I'll be able to do this with one hand, uh, there we go. So this is how far forward you can actually slide. It slides over 620 millimeters. So you can actually have real, real limo-like rear room if you push them all the way back. Um, what's important for families, Okay, so this is still one of the widest openings in the segment. It's a little bit uh, not as wide as the previous van, but we're talking a few millimeters. Um, is the fact that, look at this, for your baby seats, look how easy the anchors are to access. They're not covered, they're not hidden, beautifully easy and accessible. Look, there's tons of room back here. This one actually has the rear entertainment system, which is like an 11 inch uh, screen. Uh, and then it gets better. Uh, by the way, this is the actual vent for the 1.85 kilowatt hour battery. So it's in the front under the seats as opposed to being in the back where you would lose some volume uh, as far as cargo or passenger space. Um, Toyota's thought of everything. Look, little storage areas, big storage areas, mammoth storage area. <laughs> it's full of junk already. Um, this is very cool. The bridge. The only downside to this bridge is that because it's fixed, you can't from the front row access the rear, which is something I do enjoy in some minivans. So let's just get in. Start her up. Very standard style Toyota gauges for hybrids. This is your standard nine inch screen, which works beautifully. It's got Toyota Connect on this trim, which is not available in the base van, which um, and by the way, starts at $40,000, $2,000 more for the uh, for all-wheel drive, which I think is an absolute must. Look, everything, everything is, I don't know, just the way everything is thought out and accessible. Wireless charging pad, although it's not working very well for us right now, uh, but look, more storage. It's just absolutely fantastic, and visibility is very good. I mean, the pillars are way far out, but look what Toyota did. Huh? You can you can see, it's almost like you had x-ray vision when you look out that way. Um, what else can I tell you about this thing? Um, drive modes, uh, sport, eco, and normal in the middle. Um, 
heated steering wheel available from the base model, which is brilliant. Um, I think that pretty much does it for the walk around, if you will. Uh, believe me, you, if you're a family member or a, a father or a parent and you have kids, uh, this is a vehicle that you need to explore anyway, because the drive is actually quite, it's, it's, it's interesting. Let's, uh, let's shut everything down and uh, take your first spin. I'm not kidding when I say that I was excited about driving the new 21 Sienna. Now, of course, if you want something exciting to drive as far as minivans are concerned, we'll have to wait until Chrysler launches the Pacifica SRT. But until then, things, all things being equal, this Sienna is just about perfect. There's only one tiny little flaw in the driving experience. Before I get to that, as I mentioned, this is built on the TNGA platform, it shares a lot of components with the Highlander Hybrid. So essentially, it wasn't a mystery discovering what this van is like driving, which means I was expecting it to be quite impressive, which it absolutely is. This stiff, solid, beautiful piece of architecture uh, allows the dampers to do their jobs. It allows the, the, the ride to be compliant, but still, now, don't quote me exactly, but there's still a certain amount of dynamism in the driving experience. Now, earlier in the video that you see, I was driving an XSE with the 20 inch wheels. I may have gone slightly faster than the posted speed limit, and some of the roads had a lot of switchbacks in it. And look, I'm still alive to tell the story. Now, for this round, things got a little bit more interesting because the XSE with the 20 inch wheels is front wheel drive only whereas this is a limited all-wheel drive. Immediately, there are real differences. Uh, the, the principal one is that the weight of the vehicle seems better distributed. Now, the rear axle, the electric motor on the rear, adds about 100 kilos specifically on the rear. So that gives me the impression that the van is better set on the road and it feels nicer just overall has a it speaks to me a little bit more maybe part of that is between my ears it's very possible but the real tangible advantage is that that rear electric motor although generates its own power and although it does not affect the actual output numbers its immediate extra torque is felt when you're taking off be that going forward or backing up which is always funny um, 245 horsepower Atkinson cycle 2.5 liter four cylinder engine it's adequate at best but keeping in mind that this is a minivan to haul your family in or there's a little bit of gear or to use as a taxi or fleet vehicle and all of the above what's important to notice or to, to note is that when you merge on the highway you got plenty of power and it only averages right now I'm averaging 7.6 liters per hundred kilometers and I'm not driving like an old man, um, which is the point behind this van. Now, the only downside is the CVT, and I'm a little bit upset that this is the case, because unlike most modern CVTs with built-in gears, this has six pre-programmed gearings, if you will. Um, you don't feel them, really. If, if I just lay into the throttle a little bit, holds RPM, holds RPM, holds RPM. So that can become a little bit annoying, very old school CVT-like. Um, but if you drive normally and you're patient and you just enjoy living as you should with your family in a minivan, that will not be an issue. 
you can toggle through the drive modes, eco, normal, sport. Really the point of these drive modes in this van is marketing and only for marketing. There is an EV mode if you're going slow enough and there's enough charge in the uh, small battery. Overall, this van is exactly what I expected. It is the true, perfect, efficient, smart family hauler from Toyota, quite possibly at the moment, the best all around minivan for styling, for value, for efficiency, for space, for technology, equipment. Um, right now in the segment, this is the one. I'm, I'm excited, I, I love it, what can I say? I'm a minivan guy now, I'm bringing back the minivan. Screw the wagons, I'm bringing it back to minivans.